there is an urgent need for transition. I mean, you can't come by that. You don't have to invest in Shell and, and others, but look at those who are moving forward and trying to be more efficient with the energy we have and make it more sustainable. <laughs>
world where there is CO2 pricing, for example, and if that price is high, so it's it's intelligent to produce more efficiently. It's intelligent to uh, uh, to to look at your employees and uh, care for them because then you will have less turnover. There. That will also help with your with your efficiency. So there are so many more aspects to look at um, than just um, the the feel good good for the planet environment uh, aspect that everyone is looking at. So coming to to your point, we say it's a, it's a moving train. I just want to give you an example when you're talking about power companies. But there are all companies that, that are actually moving forward. I mean, the, the former Step Oil, Norwegian, it's no advice now, but just to make give an example, Step Oil, now Equinor, they're moving away from oil, but still need oil to, to, to finance the transition they're in, going to a more sustainable company as the, 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 the oil reserves are getting less and less. And there's, there's an urgent need for transition. I mean, you can't combine that. You don't have to invest in Shell and others, but look at those who are moving forward and trying to be more efficient with the energy we have and make it more sustainable. I mean, there are good investments in each space and some companies do move and th thus they I think, if you look at the share price, I think Equinor has done better than Shell and BP and it, for us it's just since they're moving forward and the others are staying there when they are. Going backward. <laughs> yeah. I got a big one. Uh, and fighting. Yeah, but stay, yeah. standing still is actually yeah. going back. Yeah. Right, right. We have the same opinion. Yeah. But when we are talking about definition, um, I mean, when I talk to my clients, for example, um, I have two groups run, to say. Uh, one group is a minority. They uh, want to invest in um, sustainability. And for example, they are looking um, to Article 9 investment funds, uh, they're looking to the carbon print, um, and they want investment funds, funds with impact. This is a minority. The majority is um, they just want to be sure um, and they want to be safe due to remediation because they say, okay, my client wants somehow some sustainability, but he really doesn't know what he wants. He, ju he just wants sustainability. And uh, what can you offer? Do you have? some article eight or nine uh, with low ESG risk and so on. And that's the majority. <laughs>